The world's most famous board game is now Monopoly, the TV game. Here come the players. The red player, Barry. The gold player, Bonnie. And the green player, Peter. Here comes our hostess, Kathy Cargis. And here is the host of Monopoly, Mike Riley. Thank you very much. And folks, welcome to Monopoly, where our players are about to battle to become real estate tycoons. Now, players, it's as easy as this. Just answer our crossword puzzle type clues and you're going to win a property. Every time you get a property, we're going to deposit its value into your bank account. If everybody's ready, let's start on Mediterranean Avenue, a $60 property. All correct answers on this block will begin with the letter S. Here is your first clue. Saucy music. Bonnie. Salsa. Salsa is the one we wanted. Caramba. You're the gold player. We're going to turn Mediterranean Avenue gold, put $60 into your bank. Move on to Baltic Avenue, also a $60 property. For control of Baltic, here is your clue. Sudsy show. Bonnie. A soap opera. Soap opera is correct, Bonnie. And right out of the gate, let's turn it gold. Give her $60 for Baltic Avenue. And Bonnie, that is a monopoly. Every time you take over Monopoly, we give you the combined value of all the properties therein. Two $60 properties, that's another $120 yeah. into your bank, Bonnie. A nice start. We're moving on to Oriental Avenue, worth $100. Here is your clue. Cream or grapes? Peter. Uh, sauce. Incorrect. Barry or Bonnie? Sour. Sour Peter. cream. Sour grapes. That's the one, Bonnie. Turn it gold. $100 into your bank. Peter, I'm sorry to say, we have to penalize you for that incorrect answer. We're going to take away the value of that property. That takes $100 out of your bank. You can get it back right here, though. Vermont Avenue is also worth $100 for control of Vermont and the money. Here is your clue. Military gossip. Barry. Time, Peter or Bonnie. Scuttlebutt. Oh, Scuttlebutt is what we want. I was in the Army, too. Oh, moan and groan. Yeah. Sure, now you give it to me. Vermont <laughs> Avenue, nobody got it on that clue. Barry, we're gonna have to take $100 away from you since nobody got Vermont. We slashed the value in half. Vermont Avenue now worth $50. Here is your clue. Cool sunglasses. Bonnie. Shades. Shades is the word we're looking for. Vermont Avenue, turn it gold. $50 more into Bonnie's bank. We got one property to go. Connecticut Avenue, worth $120. Here is your clue. Horse pedals. Peter. Stirrups. Stirrups is the one we want, Peter. Way to go. We're going to turn Connecticut Avenue green. $120 into your bank. We'll put you on the plus side. Barry, you're going to have a moment to collect your thoughts while Peter and Bonnie fight it out for you control this monopoly. Bonnie, you have two properties and a three-property monopoly. You need one more property to consolidate that. Therefore, one more correct answer. Peter, you have just one and a three-property monopoly. Two more properties to fill it up. Two correct answers in a row. If you're ready, Bonnie and Peter, here is your clue. Between blood and tears. Peter. Sweat. Sweat Whoa. is correct. Very well done. That's one for you, Peter. One more. The next correct answer takes control of this monopoly. Your clue. Stones can't get no. Peter. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. That is a monopoly. Turn them all green. The combined value of those three properties is $320 into your bank, Peter. And we're turning the corner. We're going to St. Charles Place with a value of $140. All correct answers on this block, players, will begin with the letter R. And here is your clue. TV zapper. Bonnie. Remote control. Remote Hi. control. There it is. St. Charles Place, turn it gold. Put $140 into Bonnie's gold bank. We're moving on to States Avenue. Also $140 property for control of states. Your clue. Temple Head. Peter. Rabbi. Rabbi is correct, Peter. Turn States Avenue green. $140 goes into Peter's bank. We're moving on to Virginia Avenue. $160 property. Players, here is your clue. Thumbs up. Review. Bonnie. Rave. A rave is correct, Bonnie. Turn Virginia Avenue gold. $160 goes into your bank. And Barry, you got just a moment to size up the competition while Bonnie and Peter fight it out for control of this monopoly. Okay. Bonnie, you have two properties once again in a three-property monopoly. You need just one more correct answer to take over that last property. Peter, you've done it before. You've got one property. You need two in a row. If you're ready, Bonnie and Peter, here is your clue. Chinese ride. Bonnie. Rickshaw. Rickshaw yeah. is the one. That's going right. to take it for you. That's a monopoly. Turn them all gold. And the combined value of those properties, Bonnie, is $440. That'll put you over the $1,000 mark as we move on to St. James Place, worth $180 for control of St. James. Here is your clue. Cruises business. Bonnie. Oh, Racing. Time. Peter. Risky. Risky business. That Tom Cruise movie you just beat Barry in the bucket. Turn St. James Green, $180 into your bank. Moving on to Tennessee Avenue, also worth $180 for control of Tennessee. Your clue. 
early army tune. Peter. Reveille. Reveille, oh. Peter. Goodness gracious. Turn it green. Peter's woken up. He's got two in a row. Another $180 into your bank. New York Avenue, the last available property on this block, worth $200. More control of New York. Here is your clue, players. Beetle Banger. Barry. Ringo. Ringo oh. Star, Barry. There you go. Turn it red. $200 into your bank, Barry. And Bonnie, you're going to have a moment to watch the gentlemen battle this one out. Peter, you have two properties and a three-property monopoly. One more correct answer will take it. Barry, you need two in a row to stop him from doing that. If you gents are ready, here is your clue. Chicken spinner. Peter. Rotisserie. Rotisserie oh. is the one, Peter. Turn them all green. That is a monopoly. <laughs> the combined value of those properties is $560. And Peter, that puts you in the lead at the end of our first block. But we've got plenty more property to get through and plenty more money to give away. Come back and watch us do it. Just a minute. Introducing new fresh mint gum, the freshest mint, the coolest cool. Thank you, Charlie O. Thank you, folks. We are back and happy to be here. We're going to take just a minute to meet tonight's competitors. To do that, we're going to turn it over to our hostess, Kathy Cargis. Kathy? Our first player tonight is the Red Player, a video distributor from the Bronx, New York. He's Barry Jaffe. Next is the gold player. She's a beach volleyball player from Miami Beach, Florida. She's Bonnie Zane. And our green player is a word processor from Detroit, Michigan. He's Peter Saputo. Good luck, players. And back to you, Mike. Thank you, Kathy, and we'll see you in just a minute. But right now, players, we have some business to attend to. We're going to move right back into our third block, beginning with Kentucky Avenue with a value of $220. All correct answers on this block, players, will begin with the letter K. Here is your clue. Enterprising Captain. Barry. Kirk. James T. Kirk, Barry. Let's turn Kentucky Avenue red. $220 goes into your bank. We're moving over to Indiana Avenue, also a $220 property for Indiana, players. Here is your clue. Ewing's Coastal Locale. Bonnie. Um. Time. Peter or Barry? Oh. Time. Knott's Landing, oh, Knott's Landing. Sorry me. about that. Not a whole lot of late night soap fans. Bonnie, that one is going to cost you an incorrect answer. The value of the property, $220. Since nobody rang in on that, we're going to cut the value in half. It's going cheap. $110, Indiana Avenue. Doe Massage. Barry. Need. Need is correct, Barry. Let's turn it red. $110 into your bank. You've got two in a row. We're moving over to Illinois Avenue. A $240 property. Here is your clue. Two dads. Peter. Knickknacks. Knickknacks yes. is the one we want. Turn it green. $240 goes into your bank, Peter. And Bonnie, you're going to get a moment to watch the gentleman fight it out for control of this monopoly. Barry, you have got two properties. You need one more. That's one more correct answer. Peter, you've got just one. You're going to need two consecutive correct answers. If you gentlemen are ready. Yes. Here is your clue. Odd sex. Peter. Kinky. I see we've hit your area of expertise, Peter. <laughs> Kinky is correct. That's one for you. Each of you gentlemen need one more. The next correct answer takes control of this monopoly. Your clue. Delhi Law. Barry. Kosher. Kosher ah. is correct, Barry. That is a monopoly. Turn them all red. Oh, and the combined value of those properties, Barry, is $680 into your bank. Starting this block it. with a bang. We're moving on to Atlantic Avenue. A $260 value. Hum trumpet. Bonnie. Kazoo. Kazoo is the only one. There you go, Bonnie. Bloody but I'm bad. The Turn Atlantic Avenue Gold. $260 into your bank. Ventnor Avenue and $260 for the next correct answer. Here is your clue. Dane Dollars. Peter. Krona. Krona is correct. Well, very well done, Peter. <laughs> Turn Ventnor Green. $260 into Peter's bank. Marvin Gardens, the next available property with a price tag of $280. Machio Man. Bonnie. Karate kid. A karate kid. Yeah. yeah. Hack that buzzer. Turn it gold. $280 into Bonnie's gold bank. And Barry, just a moment to catch your breath while Bonnie and Peter fight it out for this monopoly. Bonnie, you have two properties and a three-property monopoly. One more correct answer. We'll take that last remaining property for you. Okay. Peter, you need two in a row to stop her. If you're ready, hands next to your buzzers. Here is your clue. Locksmith Islands. Peter. The, the Key Islands. Uh, the keys, that's going to be good enough, Peter. I know it was in there. The keys, that's one for you. The next correct answer takes the monopoly for Bonnie or Peter. Your clue. 
thugs sandwich. A knuckle sandwich. A knuckle yeah. sandwich, Bonnie. Yeah. Very well solved. Turn them all gold. That's a monopoly. And for control of that monopoly, the combined value of those three properties is $800 yes. into your bank, Whoa. Bonnie. Put you over the $2,000 mark as we turn the block into our high rent district. Players, all correct answers on this block will begin with the letter H for Pacific Avenue and $300. Here is your clue. B, flats. Peter. Hive. Hive is yes. correct, Peter. Turn Pacific Avenue green. $300 into Peter's bank. We're moving on to North Carolina Avenue, also a $300 property. For control of North Carolina, your clue. Tuts scribbles. Barry. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. You beat him to the buzzer, Barry. Turn it red. $300 into your bank. Pennsylvania Avenue and $320. For the correct answer to this clue, Volcano Saint. Bonnie. Helena. Oh, St. Helens. Yes. Okay. Mount St. Helens is what we want, and in my infinite wisdom, that's exactly what I just blurted out. Gentlemen, I'm sorry I did not give you an opportunity to ring in. Bonnie, I will have to deduct for that incorrect answer, though. You're going to have to take away that 320. The good news is you can get it right back. Since I blew that question for you fellows, we're going to leave the value of Pennsylvania Avenue at $320. So now, for control of Pennsylvania and $320, players, here is your clue. Bunny schemes. Peter. Uh, hunch. Incorrect. Bonnie or Barry? Bonnie. Hutches. Incorrect. Barry. <coughs> Nobody. Hairbrained. Oh. Hairbrained. Oh. Wow. oh. Bonnie and Peter. That one's going to cost you $320 apiece. Now we're going to have to slash the value of Pennsylvania Avenue in half. For now, $160 and Pennsylvania Avenue. Here is your clue, players. Triangle side. Peter. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the one we wanted. There you go, Peter. Let's turn Pennsylvania Avenue green. $160 into your bank. And the gentleman will fight it out. Bonnie, just a moment to collect yourself. We've still got some very valuable properties on the board, but Barry and Peter are now going to fight for control of this monopoly. Peter, you have two properties in a three-property monopoly. One more correct answer will take it. Barry, you need two in a row. If you gents are ready, hands next to your buzzers. Here is your clue. Quasimodo's problem. Peter. Hunch. That's right. Hump, hunch, hunchback. Let's take them all. Turn it green. That is a monopoly. And the combined value of those properties, $920 into your bank, Peter. We're moving on to Park Place with a value of $350. Now, players, here is your clue. Humiliating dessert. Bonnie. Humble pie. Humble pie is correct. There you go, Bonnie. Let's turn it gold. $350 goes into your bank. Boardwalk, the last available property on the board, worth $400, players. Give me the correct answer to this clue. He put down roots. Bonnie. Alex Haley. Haley yeah. is what we wanted, Bonnie. Turn it gold. $400 for Boardwalk, and that is a monopoly. $750 for both properties combined, Bonnie. And that brings you up to $2,930. Peter is still in the lead with $2,960. And while we're away at commercial, our landlords are going to use some of their money to improve their properties with housing and hotels. $50 for a house, $250 for a hotel. But it's an investment that will bring some substantial rewards. And you'll see how that works in just a minute. Come on back and join us. Oh, nothing. Here's Mike Riley. Thank you, Charlie O. We are back, and there you are, too. Well, folks, it's time for the make you or break you round. Players, you're all going to be traveling around the board together, and there are hotels everywhere. I'm going to take just a minute here to see where you spent your money and what you got for it. Uh, Peter, you ended that last round with $2,960 and control of three monopolies on our board. You went with hotels everywhere. It cost you $2,250. You're going to have $710 to go into this round. Bonnie, you were right behind him with $2,930. You had control of four monopolies on the board. You went with hotels as well, $2,500 that cost you. That means you'll have $430 going into this round. Barry, you had plenty of dough, but not a whole lot of property at the end of that last round. You had $1,410. You built hotels on the one monopoly you did have. It cost you $750. You'll have $660 to go into this last round. Players, if you're all ready, we're going to go around the board on the dice that Kathy rolls. When we land on your property, you collect some rent by answering a clue. Couldn't be easier than that. If you're not able to come up with the correct answer, though, your opponents can sneak in and steal that rent. So do play carefully. Right now, we're going to turn it over to Kathy to roll those dice. Kathy, let's see some big numbers. Get us going with a bang here. A five. And right away, Whoa. players, that opens the door. That takes us to the Reading Railroad. And that is an opportunity for a hostile takeover. I will give you all a toss-up clue. The player who rings in with the correct answer can take that Reading Railroad to any monopoly on the board in an effort to wrest control of that monopoly from another player. If you are ready, your correct answer will begin with the letter I. Here is your clue. Fiddler's Dream. Barry. If I were a rich man. There you have it, Barry. It just needs a buzzer. 
And that possibility looms large for you right at the moment, Barry. Where do you want to take that Reading Railroad? I'd like to go to Atlantic Avenue. To Atlantic Avenue, gunning for Bonnie, the Atlantic, Ventnor, and Marvin Gardens Monopoly. Barry, you're going to need three consecutive correct answers to take over that three-property monopoly. These are yours alone, if you are ready. Lumberjack, Squawk. Timber! Timber is correct. There you go, Barry. That's one. Here's your second clue. Harbor, Helper. Tugboat. Tugboat. That's two in a row. Barry, you're steaming along. You've got two out of three. The next correct answer will take control of that monopoly. Here is your clue. Heavy hat. Ten gallon. Ten gallon at Barry, and that is a monopoly. Turn them all red. Barry, you get the monopoly, you get the hotels, and you also get the cash value of those three properties. We're going to add another $800 to your bank. Just like that, you turn it around, Barry. Way to go. Kathy, roll the dice. Let's get moving. A 10. Curiously enough, players, that's going to take us all the way around to the boardwalk. Good news for you, Bonnie. Charlie L., what kind of money can she make on boardwalk with a hotel? Bonnie, you can make a bundle on boardwalk. $2,000. Nile biter. Ask. Ask yes. is the way you want it, Bonnie. 2000 into your bag. Kathy, roll those dice. And eight is going to take us around the board. Let's give everyone $200 for pass and go and take a look at the chance card. Go back two spaces. Uh-oh, Barry, it worked for you before. That's going to take us back to the Reading Railroad. Another hostile takeover. Your correct answer begins with the letter Z. Here is your clue. New York, New York, 10019. Peter! Zip code. Zip code is a whole lot of here. There you go. Where do you want to take that Reading Railroad? That popular Atlantic Avenue. Oh, Barry, he's gunning for you. Atlantic, Ventnor, and Marvin Gardens Monopoly. Peter, you know how it's done. You need three consecutive correct answers to take those away from Barry. Here is your first clue. Mini McEnroe game. Tennis. Table tennis is the one we wanted, Peter. Yes. I'm sorry that you don't get the Monopoly, and I'm even sorrier that you bottomed out on Atlantic Avenue yeah. with a hotel. Barry, you not only get to keep the properties, but you collect some rent. What kind of rent are you going to collect there, Charlie O? How about $1,150? $1,150 for you, Barry. Peter, I know that one stings. We're going to take it out of Peter's bank and put it in Barry's and go back to Kathy. Kathy, roll the dice. Let's make some money back for Peter. A 10. Oh, Peter, we're going to jump your properties entirely. That takes us back to Shank. Let's take a look at this card. Advance to Ventnor Avenue. Well, that's going to take us past Go. We're going to give everyone $200. We're going to come all the way around to Ventnor. And that is still controlled by you, Barry. Ventnor with a hotel. Charlie, what kind of rent money can he make there? Well, Barry, you can make as much as $1,150. And here is your clue. Pay or princess? Barry. Toll. Incorrect. Oh, that is time. Telephone is what we wanted there. Nobody came up with that one. That's all right, Barry. You are the landlord there, so we will not penalize you for that. What we will do is go to Kathy to throw those dice. Kathy, roll them. Oh, that sound means one minute to go in the round, and that is an 11. That's going to take us around the corner to luxury tax. We're going to have to deduct $75 from everybody's bank. Put that in free parking. We might have enough time to get around for somebody to collect all of it back. Kathy, pick them up. Put them down. Let's make these folks some dough. Let's go. And aid is going to take us around past go to Oriental Avenue. With past go, we're going to give everyone 200 bucks just for taking the ride, and that's good news for you, Peter. Yeah. Oriental Avenue with a hotel. What kind of money can you make there, Charlie? Well, Peter, a tiny little sum, $550. Okay, at a crucial point in the round, Peter, for $550. Farmer threads. Overalls. Overalls, what yes. do you want, Peter? Give him the money, <laughs> Kathy. Roll the dice. Let's get moving. That is a nine, and players, that is going to take us around to the Pennsylvania Railroad. And that is an opportunity for a hostile takeover. Your correct answer will begin with the letter C. Here is your clue. Fo do. Body. Um, uh, Peter, uh, Peter. Cash. Incorrect, Barry. Counterfeit. Counterfeit is what we wanted, yeah. Barry. Yeah, Barry, well, everybody had a shot at that. Where are you going, Barry? Mediterranean. He's going to Mediterranean, not taking any chance at this point in the round. An interesting strategy. Let's take it all the way around the board. This way, you don't pay any high rents if you get stuck with it. A very interesting decision, Barry. For Mediterranean and Baltic, I need you two consecutive correct answers. Here you go. Your correct answers will begin with the letter O. Your clue. Prevention measure. An ounce. An ounce of prevention. Very well done, Barry. There's one. One more fake Baltic for you. Here is your clue. Phantom hangout. Opera. 
Phantom of the Opera, that's yes. it. Phantom Red. That, yes. that is your monopoly. You're taking yes. that over. $120 more into your bank. And that is the end of the round, Barry. That might have done it. Let's take a look and see. Peter, you ended that round with $635, but you still have control of three monopolies on the board. We're going to cash in all your hotels, add up their value, put that in with your score to give you a final round total of $2,885, a good total, but not quite enough. Bonnie, you went to second place with $29.55. You still have control of two monopolies on the board. We're going to cash in your hotels. We're going to add up their value, put it in with your score to give you a finishing total of $4,205. Barry, you ended that round with $3,255. You now have control of three monopolies on the board. We're going to cash in those hotels. We're going to add up their value, put it in with your score, Barry, to give you a final total of $5,255. Barry, you are our winner. Bonnie and Peter, you played a wonderful game, but Barry came from behind at the end. And Barry, come on over here. You just earned yourself $5,000 and a shot at $25,000. Well played, Barry. I can't believe you. Come on back and watch Barry go for the big money in just a minute. Way to go, Barry. Way to go. Thank you, and we are back, and you're just in time to watch Barry go for $25,000 in our Once Around the Block bonus round. Now, Barry, the luck is with you already. You came from behind in that game. You ended up with over $5,000. Now we're going to give you a shot at $25,000. You've already done the hard work, Barry. You've placed four go-to-jails on the board, beginning with one in the second row. And where did that one go? I placed it on Electric Company. On the Electric Company, and one in the third row, and that one went... My good friend, Marvin Gardens. On Marvin Gardens, and two in the last row, and you know that go to jail in the corner is still in play. Where'd those last two go? Luxury tax and boardwalk. Luxury tax and boardwalk. I see a definite strategy operating here, Barry. We're going to see if it works for you. Now, you have five rolls of the dice. Every time you roll doubles, I'll give you an extra roll. If you can get all the way around the board and pass go without landing on one of those go to jails, we will give you $25,000. If you can land exactly on go, we will give you $50,000. For each square you pass, we're going to give you $100. You can stop at any point and keep the money you've won. Take those lucky dice from Kathy. Thank Take you, Kathy. Let's go, Barry. Big numbers. We're on your side. Let's see something oh, good no. for you. A seven. Coming out with seven. And that's going to take you to chance. You've got four rolls of the dice. you got $700. Your only bad roll is a five, Barry. What do you want to do? I'll play. He's going to stick with it. Let's go, Barry. Anything no five. No five. Eleven. Beautiful. All the way to Tennessee Avenue. A hot roll. You have three rolls of the dice remaining. Your only bad numbers are 11 and 12. What do you want to do, Bear? I'll continue. Let's go, Bear. No, 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 12. A seven. That's going to take you to the B and O Railroad, Bear. You now have two rolls of the dice left. Your only bad rolls are four and five. You have already accumulated, though, $2,500. What do you want to do with those dice? I'd like to roll a 55. All you need is a 15. Let's see it, Bear. Okay. Let's see it. Big number for you. A nine. Beautiful roll, Barry. That is going to take you to Pennsylvania Avenue. You have got $3,400. You have one roll of the dice left. You have six squares to go. Your only bad ones are four and five. What do you want to do? I'll continue. What oh, six or better. Let's see it, Barry. We're going to give that money six. away. One, six five, or better. Six. Let's see it. Nine. 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 Tuesday at 9, 8 Central is Roseanne's marriage in hot water. Then on coach, Hayden's manners go into the toilet. After, Time Magazine calls 30-something one of the top 10 series of the decade.